Antec's coming out swinging this year with some brand new products you guys are not going to want to miss. Now you guys will remember the original Flux Pro from last year and we actually did a build in it. Well this year they have teamed up with Noctura to include the Noctura Edition. It actually comes with three pre-installed fans at the front, 140 millimeters. Comes with a pre-installed fan at the back, also 140, and then two 120 millimeter fans on top of the power supply shroud. Now you can see we've got the Noctura colors throughout the case so they're really trying to implement that and and they still have that awesome walnut wooden panel at the front there with the laser engraved etching. Now in terms of radiator specs, I know that this case has been out, but I'll just let you guys know in this video anyway. 420 up the top, 420 at the front, and a 360 on top of the power supply shroud itself. So there is lots of cooling in here. And what do you guys think? Should we do a, like an all wooden build in this? I think that'll look absolutely sick. Let us know in the comments. This is called the Antec 900. Antec's prized possession here at Computex. 2025. This is actually an updated version of the original 900, which was a case produced in the early 2000s. They've brought it back with even beefier specs. Let's check it out. Now, keeping airphone in mind, Antec has completely developed this case with large cutouts to make sure that air is getting in, but they haven't forgotten the mesh panels because, of course, with large cutouts comes a lot of dust. So we've got mesh up the top, we've got mesh down here, we've also got mesh at front and back for the power supply shroud, so there's no dust getting in of this build. The front of the case includes two 200 millimeter fans. We also have a fan included at the rear there, 140 millimeters, and two 120 millimeter fans on top of the power supply shroud. Antec have a rail system implemented here where you can actually fit up to 200 millimeter fans. But if you don't have 200 millimeter fans, which you will if you get this case, uh, you could actually switch this out for 140, uh, 120, and 160 millimeter fans as well. Radiator compatibility, we can actually fit a 420 millimeter radiator at the front here. We have loads of cooling. Up the top, we can fit a 360 millimeter radiator. And on top of the power supply shroud, although it's not listed, you can fit a 240 millimeter radiator. The power supply has actually been fully rotated 90 degrees, so the power button's actually accessed by taking off the front PSU shroud, and then you have full access to it. Now this top IO panel here is completely removable, so you can fully take that out. That actually gives you access to get your hand in there, and you can actually do up your fittings if this is a tight spot, uh, or just play around with anything in there, like the tubes, any cables, you know, possibilities are endless. I actually came up with that myself because Antec didn't have an answer for that, but I would imagine that that's actually going to be really helpful for those who are doing water cooling and are very particular with all of their cable management. This case in terms of motherboard compatibility is absolutely huge. You can fit anything inside of this and we also have compatibility for back connect motherboards as well. So if you want to keep your cable management really clean, there's plenty of cable management room at the rear as though that is always an option. There are four different color options for the framing of the actual case. Framing itself is actually made from aluminium as well. Pricing is not yet confirmed because it still is prototype at the moment, but they're open to suggestions. So please let us know down in the comments what else you'd like to see from this case, what options you would like to see, and how maybe they could improve and implement some other design changes. This is Antec's ITX case, the Performance 1M. Now this was on display last year and we have done a build-in as well, guys. You guys could see that up here on the channel. But this year, they're offering a vertical stand for it. So if you don't want this laying horizontal, you can flip it up like this. It saves a lot of room on the desk as well. Uh, this is a separate offering, so you don't get it with the case. But they're releasing that this year. So if you guys want that, then that's always an option. Pricing, we weren't given pricing for this, but I couldn't imagine it being too expensive. I'll update the description of the video if I do get that information before the video goes out. This is the Performance Exo. So it is basically the same as the one M. However, it comes without all of the panels around there. So essentially what they're trying to do is give users a bit of freedom and flexibility for their build. So you can actually mount your radiators on the outside, have your components hanging out. That's basically their aim with it. And plus you're saving a lot more money because it doesn't come with all the extra panels and that. It's a lot of freedom. You can add 3D printed parts to this, different brackets and things like that. So just the skeleton of the case, saving money. I think that's a pretty cool option. These are Antec's brand new power supplies. We have 2200 watts and 2500 watts. Pretty sure they're getting ready for the next gen GPUs. I don't have a lot to say about them, but I just wanted to highlight them. Uh, companies I've noticed this year are actually bringing out higher wattage power supplies. They're getting ready for something that maybe we don't know, so uh, I think we better brace ourselves, guys. You guys know I can't resist a nice custom water loop. 
These cases, they have already been existing uh, since last Compute Tech, so I'm not going to touch too much on them, but I just wanted to show off the beauty of these builds. We've got Bits Power water cooling gear inside. This was actually made by AK Mod, both of these builds. I actually love how he's done the two different tube colors over in that one. The nice purple accents, and of course in here, it's just a nice clean white build. Just wanted to give some props to AK Mod for all of the builds he's done at the show. This reminds me of uh, childhood memories. This looks completely retro. This is actually sick. This is a little Android game device that Antec has come out with on top of the Core HS, which they released last year. So this one's going to come in much cheaper. You use the Android App Store, uh, Google Play, uh, to download your games on here. It's just a little gaming device. Uh, I think it's really cool. Pricing will be around 199 US dollars. It comes with 256 gigabytes of storage and eight gigs of RAM. That's a wrap here at the Antec booth. Guys, what did you like the best at this booth? I have to say the Noctura design case that they partner with. That has to be my favorite and we want to try and get our hands on that. Let us know down in the comments your thoughts. Hey, go check out this video right here where we explore some other pretty cool cases that are on display here at Computex 2025.